so good morning children i guess yesterday we talked about lesson number 16 and in that we talked about liberalization privatization and globalization isn't it okay so today we will talk about world trade organization okay now what is this world trade organization see that the world trade organization was established on the 1st jan 1995 by the members of the un okay almost 199 countries now it is increased but jitne bhi countries thi un ke these united nations countries they established one organization at international level for the means of trading and which was named world trade organization its headquarter is in geneva remember this in switzerland multiple choice question filling the blank match the following this can be asked in exam my dear children again i repeat it that world trade center was established on 1st of january 1995 with the members of the united nations its headquarter it is in geneva which is located in switzerland now what are the objectives of world trade organization see the objective of the world trade organizations are to remove the obstacles influencing influencing global trading that means if there are any obstacles or hurdles there are stopping the any global trade those are to be removed okay to remove the protection policy given into the industries of the countries for foreign trade to coordinate with global trade policy and economic policy to have an hierarchy to have a comparison between the global trade policy and economic policy and to try to balance both the policies to solve the trade related disputes arising into the world if any issues arises between the countries okay so that will be solved by world trade organization these are the objectives now what are the functions of this wto to set up a required structure for implementation of agreement related to multinational trade and agreement related to it world trade organization plays a important role to debate and to negotiate for multinational trade so world trade organization encourages unbiased international trade unbiased without partiality so they have a very transparent international trade now different nations follow their own national policy yes every nation they have their own foreign policies it observes them it and suggest require improvement into their policy okay so these are the functions and objectives of the world trade organization now you see children what is the impact of this world trade organization into india okay so when we talk about the impact of this indian policy we'll see that india is the member of world trade organization since the inception matlab from the beginning world trade jab established hua tha when the world trade uh, was one when this un was established from that india was a member of un and then when this world trade organization was established in 1995 on the very first meeting india had joined it so what will be the impact of the organization on india or which types of benefit would it india acquire are discussed below okay hame kya benefit mila hai that we will find below so india's contribution to the world trade was 0.5 don't get confused with 5 my dear children before 5 you can see one dot okay it is 0.5 so our contribution to the international trade was 0.5 but due to this policy we were been able to bring this to 1.0 that means from 0.5 we have brought this to 1 clear so india's contribution to world trade was 0.5% our exports have increased tremendously due to the increase in international trade and as a result our contribution into the world trade has come to 1% matlab aadhe percent se hamara 
वन परसेंट ट्रेड हुआ है बींग मेंबर ऑफ वर्ल्ड ट्रेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एक्सपोर्ट्स ऑफ द रेडीमेड क्लोथ्स ऑफ अवर कंट्री हैज इंक्रीज ओके अवर रेडीमेड गारमेंट्स आर डिमांड इन द फॉरन कंट्रीज डू यू नो दैट विच सिटी इज नोन फॉर रेडीमेड गारमेंट एनी आइडिया अच्छा मुंबई येस इट वॉज मुंबई बट नाव आई हर्ड आई गेस इट इज बेंगलोर सो बेंगलुरु इज द लीडिंग इंडस्ट्री एज फार एज रेडीमेड गारमेंट इज कंसर्न ओके एज अ मेम्बर ऑफ वर्ल्ड ट्रेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंडिया हैज बीन एबल टू इंक्रीज द एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ इज एग्रो प्रोडक्ट वेरी गुड सो वी एक्सपोर्ट अवर एग्रो प्रोडक्ट इन टू द फॉरन कंट्रीज ओके एवरी थिंग लाइक यू विल बी वेरी सरप्राइज टू नो के कौन सा झाड़ हो आई फॉगॉट आई फॉगॉट बबूल का पेड़ इसको बोलते हैं विच इज यूज टू क्लीन योर तीस ओके हम लोग गुजराती में भी कॉल इट दातन ओके सो इट इज ऑफ नो यूज हियर बट द सेम बबूल स्टीम यू विल फाइंड इन यू एस मार्केट इन पटेल स्टोर इन नाइंटी नाइन सेंट नाइंटी नाइन सेंट मतलब सेवेंटी रुपीज वाई दिस हेज बिकम पॉसिबल दिस हेज बिकम पॉसिबल ओनली ड्यू टू import of agro goods drumstick no we call it sarago it is very good i would ask suggest you dear children that you must eat sarago prepare you ask your mother to prepare it it is good for so many diseases especially for arthritis and uh, disease related to bones okay it is a herb that saragwo that drumstick which is available here in 80 rupees kg there you will find one stick in 80 rupees that is in 1 dollar understood that has become possible due to the globalization and due to the indian export of the agro product due to the increase in export pressure on import has reduced okay Uh, there is always give and take process so till now what was the condition it is a part of our exam policy that india export less and import much so what happens when you export less and import much your debt increases okay main 50 rupaye ki cheez export karta hu aur 200 rupaye ki cheez kharidta hu matlab mujhe export karne ke baad bhi i have to pay 150 rupees more So as a result of that, what the pressure increases. But now see that our export has also increased. Since our export has also increased, so the pressure has decreased on import. Our debt has decreased on import due to the increase in export. The pressure on import has reduced, and foreign investment has been increased due to the foreign exchange. Okay. Thus, as a member of the World Trade Organization, India will not only get above mentioned benefits, but also has to comply with some condition. Okay, it is specially dependent on how fast India increase its infrastructure facility, which we badly need. Today, you visit to the government offices, my dear children, you will come to know it is horrible. I get simple example: you visit one national bank and you visit one private bank. you will see the difference see the difference into the services also see the difference into the behavior also you go to the bank and you will find that uh, you get no services over there and you go to the private bank where you will find that all services are provided that you are given a chair to sit and you are deal with in all the public sector bank you have to stand and that buddy who is actually to be stand he is sitting there and he is doing his job okay it is we people who are putting the bank money into the bank and so that these people get the salary but this is the trend in india so that is what i said that we badly need to have a good infrastructure facility you see the facilities into the government schools and you see the facilities into the private schools vast difference you will find into the services given there okay but they take a charge of the fees and all what i mean is that we need to improve better infrastructure 
facility to compete with the countries of the world so okay my dear children that is what the world trade organization is all about your homework is that you will write the world trade organization is function its objective and you will also write the impact of this world trade organization on our indian economy today we will talk about the sustainable farming and remaining chapter till then my dear children take care stay home stay safe bye bye